Welcome back. You must be wondering what happened to the AI-powered crystal ball that we spoke right at the start of the episode. Wouldn't it be fun if early stage investors have an AI-powered crystal ball where they could put in some pitch decks and maybe some other documents and predict whether that particular startup is going to become a multi-bagger, perhaps even come to know the multiple and the time frame within which it's going to become a multi-bagger. Wouldn't that be awesome? Even for the founders, if they had a tool which could actually tell them how and when the startup is likely to become a multi-bagger, could be such a huge boon. When I first put that quote out, I got some interesting reactions. One reaction I heard was that the thrill of early stage investing may go away. From whatever I have seen, I'm not too sure if a lot of thrill remains when an early stage investor sees capital erosion in their portfolio. Someone said that human beings have such an awesome knack of messing up things that no crystal ball will ever be able to predict the human frailties. Perhaps true. But then the same human that is that has the knack of messing up things, com- performs the most complex surgeries, takes the rocket to the moon and beyond, and does millions of near impossible things on a day-to-day basis when given the right kind of tools. If that's the case, why can't human beings drive a startup to success with near zero mishap rates? We are envisaging a future where the cliche statement that you have heard that 90% of the startups fail will become history very, very soon. We are very certain that even if one capital erosion is prevented for an investor, or if you are able to prevent even one startup from going bust because of the AI initiatives that we have initiated, because of the snakes and ladders startup show, we would consider the show to be very, very successful. I know there will be